penalty and Henry Sheffield gone straight to centre forward and a switch with Owen Larkin. That's the only chance. Tommy Walsh in the middle of the field. And this is just an amazing start because it was an exchange between two players, one from either side. And now the game is on. So obviously that uh, tenacity that Galway brought to the All-Ireland Hurling semi-final in 2001 reflected there at the very beginning. They certainly uh, felt hurt by the 19-point defeat last season. As we look again at the very start, Derek Ling and Fergal Healy got involved here. Here's a chance for David Tierney, flicking this one in, and it's over the bar. Good start for Galway. Well, the positioning of Ollie Canning on DJ is a very interesting one. And here's a chance for Eddie Brennan! It should have been cleared. But when you have an opportunist sniffing around the edge of the square, then it's trouble with a capital T for Galway. This should have been cleared. It slipped inside, skidded on the surface, and Eddie Brennan's finishing was superb. Tommy Walsh picks it up, flicks it down over to the far wing. In towards Eddie Brennan, the goal scorer. Damian Joyce with him, giving a little bit too much space. Brennan turns and sends it over the bar. A goal and a point after four minutes and 21 seconds. Just some uh, statistical information for you. 58% already for Kilkenny. Reflected on the scoreboard, it must be said as well. Kilkenny doing well. That half-back line, J.J. Delaney to Michael Kavner. Lofting it high, up to Ozone Larkin. Shane Kavner with him, and it's Brennan once more. And that's another point for the corner forward from Greg Pally Callan. And I think a change is now necessary if Galway are going to, uh, in any way, stop Eddie Brennan from having a match of the day performance. John Hoyne dropping this one in. Where's Eddie Brennan? Oh, good block down by Shane Kavner. The first time that Eddie Brennan has actually been beaten in any way since this game started. And that might just give Galway a psychological boost. And well won by Damian Hayes. But credit Shane Kavner because he is the one that started that uh, movement with a fabulous block down on Eddie Brennan. Well, it's three out of three so far for Ger Farraher. This on a goal for his fourth point of the afternoon here at Cork Park. And despite that brilliant Kilkenny start, there's now just one point between the teams. Richie Murray leaving it behind him, Derek Ling nipping in. Survives the challenge, Galway players protesting that he took too many steps. Seamus Roach giving the free this time to Kilkenny. John Tennyson. On a minor All-Ireland back in 2002 and 2003 as a full-back. Drops this one in. It's a dangerous enough ball. Liam Dunneau keeps his eye on it all the way. Flicks it out for Derek Cardiman. That's good defending again by Galway. Down for Ger Farah, who knocks it down. Picked up by Richie Murray. Give him a little bit of space. Can he punish the error? Lovely play by Richie Murray. He joins David Tierney and Ger Farah scoreboard and it was Farahard that flicked it into this space and the St. Thomas's man from the Peterswell and Kilcreast area of County Galway finished superbly. <laughs> Fabulous catch. 25 year old from Mullion. Pulled on by David Collins. Richie Murray in the centre. Better play by Galway. Diagonal ball over towards Damian Hayes and company. Chasing the slither Michael Kavner. It's there ahead of the corner forward from Portumna. Richard Milano kicked ahead by David Tierney. Back to Tierney once more, getting inside the Kilkenny cover. Farah is available here. Is there a goal? Yes! Fabulous goal by Galway. Sure, Farah the scorer. Kilkenny rocked after half an hour in Cork Park in an All Ireland semi final that had Kilkenny written all over it from the very beginning. Brennan scoring first goal. Here's the second goal of the match. Unstoppable.
Oh, God. Yeah, but I think David Tierney's maturity as a player, maybe. You know, he was here with flashy boots and long hair. That's all gone now. And what a pass inside. Great vision. And it's all, I think, all would deserve it. You know, they have been well on top uh, since that early first five minutes. And well deserved. And Galway are showing a bit of character here. Pulled on by David Fort. Scored a cracking goal against the Ferreira. Here comes Hayes. Kavna has to get there. Damien Hayes beating Michael Kavna. Goal number two. Stopped by McGarry. Chasing after this is David Collins with Eddie Brennan, and Brennan is wrapped up as Collins sends it back down into the left half forward position. Picked up by David Tierney, started the game with a point, created the goal. Oh, lovely scale. Pat Delaney started from Kilkenny, did it in the 70s, dropping this in and sending it over the bar. It's a wonderful game, but it's played like this. And the debate was, would it be the Galway, the average Galway side, or would it be the brilliant side? Well, let me tell you, Galway have arrived in Croke Park, and they mean business, and it's the brilliant Galway so far. Kilkenny need a score or two before half-time now to get them back into this game. Long ball into Tennyson, hits up line, and Kilkenny get the goal. A long ball, all the way down to Henry Shefflin. Got inside the cover, and look at this for finishing. Fantastic. A cracking All-Ireland hurling semi-final. Tony O'Gregan. Blocked. Comes for Shane Kavner. Gets by Eddie Brennan. For Zali Kavner. And the pass goes astray. There's a chance here for John Hoyne. Goal for Kakeni. Now we have everything here. Incredible. Just watch this. This was a ball that should have been cleared. The pass inside to Ollie Cannon went by him and John Hoyne gave Liam Dunham no chance. Liam Dunham aims for the middle channel, picked up by Peter Barry. David Collins battling with Martin Comerford, who's now at the edge of the square. Flicks it outside for his own Larkin, and Larkin sends it over the bar. It's his first point in this All-Ireland semi-final. And just as much quick as you say, Kilkenny, there's now just one point between the teams. Breaking ball, picked up by Larkin, almost at least. Instead, it's Fergal Healy, 28-year-old. Down for as Alan Kearns from Clarin Bridge. Cromwell and Clarin Bridge combining nicely. Lays it off as David Ford. Back to a Clarin Bridge man, and this is looking good. It's his second point in this All-Ireland semi-final. And it's a vital, crucial point. Just when Kilkenny had reduced that uh, lead to just one point. Nice combination here between the two clubmen and county men. Took out by James McGarry, out to the Hogan stand side. Well pulled on by Eddie Brennan. Martin Comerford comes out quickly. David Collins chasing after him. Comerford creates a bit of space for himself and then flicks this over the bar for his first point in this All-Ireland semi-final. Eddie Brennan getting away from Shane Kavna. This is going to curl and it's going over the bar. Great point. A goal and three points. Eddie Brennan has scored exactly the same amount that Henry Shefflin has scored. And this is the reverse angle camera and it gives you an idea of the distance that Eddie Brennan travelled here. Fergal Healy across to Richie Murray. Alan Kearns got into a corner forward position. This is Kearns. There's a chance here for Murray. Hitting it. Oh, great save. Healy. Goal for Galway. Kilkenny defence exposed by the creativity of a Galway attack that has speed. And may I mention as well, with a capital S, skill. Cairns setting up Richie Murray. Brilliant save here by McGarry. Superb. But Healy was unmarked and he finished it into the back of the Hill 16 net. There again is James Ryan, who's picking up a lot of loose ball, tussling with Murray. 
centimetres away from the sideline. One-handed pull by Ryle. Comes into the centre where it should be Fergal Helix. Crossing it over. It's a poor ball. David Ford did well to gather it. Three Kilkenny players around and has to go back. Pulled on first time by Fergal Healy. In towards Niall Healy, the brother. Damien Hayes available. Healy looking around, has to go back to Jeff Farraher. Farraher onto the right hand side this time. Has the height, has the distance, and has the accuracy. Two goals at eight points by a corner forward from, Ger from Castle Gar called Jeff Farraher. Peter Barry back there struggling. Jeff Farrer kicking it first, David Ford. Farrer wanted it again. Niall Healy gone to the right. But Farrer well, unable to get it because David Ford had taken too many steps. And for mounting by Peter Barry and for some descent, it's a throw ball in first. Niall Healy. It's one against one against Roy. Casey McGarry. What a goal. What a fantastic goal. Two goal hero from Prova. The referee gave the out throw ball, came into Healy, take it out, Galway. And James McGarry beaten incredibly for the fourth time in an All Ireland hurling semi final. Alan Kurtz, very courageous, brave, loving it in towards Niall Healy and Joe Farrell. John Tennyson has to go back together. Half blocked. Comes back again to Galway hands. Good pair of hands by Richie Murray. Great point. Took a year out, as Michael mentioned earlier. Came back this season. Won a Fitzgibbon Cup with UL as a young teenager and as certainly a player with a very impressive CV at underage level. Here he is in the biggest stage of all, an All-Ireland hurling semi-final and scoring points like that. to say at this stage it's all gold they're dominating in key areas Kilkenny unable to find their rhythm Derek Hardiman lashing it out towards the wing battling here Michael Kavner with Damien Hayes still Hayes with the support of Alan Kearns Niall Healy wants it in long dropping this one in James McGarry comes off his line Niall Healy gets a touch Predicted by all the experts, it had to be a Cork Kilkenny final. Maybe Clare, maybe Waterford, and maybe as an outside chance, maybe Galway. Well, Galway have certainly come of age. This ball inside, gathered by Comerford, does it? Katie Brennan, it's a goal! This game is far from over. Kilkenny respond with two goals and three points by Eddie Brennan. This ball inside gathered. David Collins was right beside him, but the finish here was top class again. Here's Mark Comerford. Richie Power has gone to his right. This is Power. Eddie Brennan is to his left. Still Richie going for the shot and over the bar. Second point for Richie Power from Carrick Shock. A big goal chance for Martin Old. Good running by Power here. Got inside the cover and had the confidence. Tuck out by Liam Dunahoe. We're hearing word from the sideline that there's going to be three additional minutes. Here's David Ford. David Tierney. Kid Kenny back bravely, courageously. Here's Kevin Broderick. Broderick looking at the goalposts, signalling his arrival in Kirk Park. What a fantastic point by Kevin Broderick. The referee looks at his watch. Cork Kilkenny hurling final not going to take place unless Kilkenny salvage something here. Collins shows that there are footballers and hurlers in the county of Galway. Galway are in the All Ireland hurling final. Wonderful display by the tribesmen. These young men have come of age. Niall Healy, three goal hero, goes out and joins in the celebrations. Tears of joy for David Collins from Liam Bellows. And for Connor Hayes, who won All Ireland in 1980, 87, and 88, he captained the 88 side to victory.
country. He's guided the Galway side to an All-Ireland final for the first time since 2001. The full-time score in Croke Park and this historical Ireland hurling semi-final. Galway 5-18, Kilkenny 4-18.